What's up guys, my name is Fredan Amjad and in this video we will create this beautiful freeze frame effect. So first of all we have to press alt key on the keyboard and we have to drag this clip on top of this track. Now we have to hover this cursor where we want to freeze a frame. So I want to freeze this frame in my video. So select this clip, go to the speed change in video and we have to select this freeze frame. Now we have to select this part of the video. We have to delete this part and we have to increase the duration to the starting point from here and we have to trim the end duration from where we have this cursor. So now we have this freeze frame and now I am going to freeze this frame. So select this video, press alt key and we have to drag this clip on top of all the track. Now go to the speed chain and we have to freeze this frame as well. Now increase the duration to the starting point and trim the duration where we have this cursor. So now we have these two freeze frame. Now disable this freeze frame and go to the color page. And now if I play this video as you can see guys we have this freeze frame. So now I am going to right click and I am going to grab still. Go to the edit page. We have to enable this track, go to the color page and we have to grab still of this freeze frame. Now to export this freeze frame we have to right click and we have to select export. I am going to change this to jpg and I am going to rename this to frame 2. Let's export this frame as well. Now disable these two track. Now open your browser and search for photoroom.com background remover. Here we can remove freeze frame background. Now we can download this PNG. Now refresh the page and remove the other freeze frame background as well. Now drag these two freeze frame in media pool. Now the next step is we have to match this PNG freeze frame duration to the original clip. So I am going to press shift on the keyboard. Using the scroll we can zoom in and zoom out this track size. Now I am going to place my freeze frame on top of all the track. And now I am going to match the duration of this freeze frame to its original freeze frame. Now right click and we can delete this track. I'm going to drag this freeze frame and I'm going to match its duration to its original clip. Now delete the original clip track and now we have these two freeze frame. Now if you have a video where your camera doesn't move, you have a still video, then we can use this method to freeze the frame of your video. But as you can see guys, in this video we have a moving camera. So we have to drag this video as well. So first of all, I'm going to create a compound clip of these two freeze frame. Now the next step is we can delete this freeze frame. Now go to the fusion page and we have to press shift and space and search for tracker. Let's press shift on the keyboard and we can drag this in between these two nodes. So it will connect this tracker in between these two nodes. Change this to single screen. Go to the first frame of the video. Using control key and the mouse scroll we can zoom in and zoom out this window. Using the scroll we can drag this window right here. And now I'm going to click here to select the tracker. And I'm going to drag this part of the tree. So now we can resize this window as well. So I think we are done. Now we have to click here to drag this part of the video. And now we are done. Click OK. And now the next step is we can go to the first frame of the video. Go to the media pool. And I'm going to drag this compound clip right here. Connect this to the tracker. Now we have to select the tracker. And we have to go to the operations. And we have to change the operation to match move. Now if I preview this video as you can see guys this freeze frame is now attached to the tracker but we have to align this freeze frame as well so from this frame it will disappear so we have to drag a transform node in between these two nodes and we have to align this to its original clip so I think from here we are done now we have to add a keyframe in center and now we are here in between these two trees so go to the first frame and we have to align this freeze frame in between these two trees. So from here I think we are done. And now if I play this video. Now go to the media pool and drag the next one. And now if I connect this to the tracker. As you can see it won't work. So we have to right click. We have to copy this tracker. We have to paste this tracker. And we have to press shift key. We have to connect this tracker in between these two nodes as well. Now connect this to the tracker. Now as you can see guys this freeze frame is attached to the tracker but we have to align this freeze frame as well to the video. So go to the frame where this freeze frame disappear. To this position we can align this freeze frame to this video. So now I am going to drag a transform node in between these two nodes and now I am going to align this. Now we have to add a keyframe in center of this freeze frame transform and we are here right beside this tree. So we have to go to the first frame of this video and we have to align this freeze frame position according to that tree and now if I play this video as you can see guys 
now we have this freeze frame effect now after do some color grading and color correction here we have the final result so i hope you like this video thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one